Hello everyone and welcome once again to Captain Goodspeed Maths and today we are doing some more OCR FSMQ, the new spec uh, and in today's lesson we are going to be covering gradient of a line so the learning objective is to the, use the relationship uh, of, of coordinates to, to work out the gradient of the straight line that connects them. So. What is a straight line? A straight line is defined by its two main features, of course, one being the gradient and the other uh, being one known point, so where it crosses the y-axis, or we call that the intercept, and we write these straight lines in a very specific format, uh, you're taught probably in year 8 or something like that, that all straight lines have this sort of form, y equals mx plus c, where m uh, is the gradient and C is the intercept so yeah uh, Y must be on its own as well remember so um, you can't have 2Y or 3Y there uh, for it to be in this form where we can read off the gradient and the intercept uh, if you know the, the, the gradient so if you say uh, Y equals 2X plus C and we want to work out what C is we can let this X equal 0 uh, and Y will equal whatever because uh, the intercept is where x equals zero and whatever the y coordinate is so have a look at this line y equals mx plus c so there we go what is the gradient well we can count down squares so how many down is it well six down um and uh what's that ten across so uh changing y over changing x so six over ten so that's a, a gradient of three fifths. Uh, we also know that the intercept is zero, so we can um, write in the intercept as well and tidy that up, i.e. y equals uh, three fifths of x. Next, we've got another line there. You can do the same sort of method. Uh, we know what line A is. Um, we know what line B is, it, using the same methods here. And we know what line C is as well all of the intercepts uh, so you've got minus three which which comes down to here and we've got uh, two and we've also got uh, five up here as well those all being the intercepts but notice something about these lines they've all got the same uh, gradient there so parallel lines have similar equations we all have they all have the same gradient uh, if they are parallel they have the same slope uh, so all of them have three-fifths in front of their x. They've all got different intercepts, but they're all very similar lines. They have the same uh, gradient. And the same, uh, something similar can be said about perpendicular lines. We can work out the gradient of that, and that's minus five-thirds of x. So what is the relationship between three-fifths and minus five-third? Well, it's the negative reciprocal. So a perpendicular line... Uh, is the negative reciprocal of your original line's gradient, or the, the gradients are never negative reciprocals of each other. But that's just a little bit of background before we get into the video. We can work out the gradient of a line using just the coordinates. Rulers will be a thing of the past, as they were in the last episode when we were talking about um, the distance between two points. Now we're talking about the gradient of a line, and, and we can do the same sort of thing. So uh, all we need are the two coordinates uh, that we know go through this line that we want. So if a line goes through AB and CD, then the gradient of the line is D minus B over C minus A. You might have heard me say before, the change in Y over the change in X. Uh, so that is what that is. So D minus B over C minus A. But think of this as back take back over front take front. That is exactly what we did last time when we looked at the distance between two points. We said it was back take back squared added to front take front squared and all square rooted. This time you want to think of it as back take back over front take front. Very, very easy. Um, the back coordinate take away the other back coordinate uh, over front coordinate. Uh, minus the other front coordinate so it doesn't matter which ra way around you do that uh, as long as you're consistent if you start with this coordinate and take away this one um, you'll get exactly the same answer as if you start with this coordinate and take away this coordinate if you if you sort of get me but 
Try and remember that it's uh, D first. So back take, back over, front take, front. Let the formula do the work and be very, very careful of those pesky double negatives. So let's do an example then. What's the gradient of the line that joins 3, 5, 2, 11, 17? Well, first we quote our formula. So gradient equals back take, back over, front take, front. Put in with numbers, so D in this case is 17. We take away 5 and then 11, take away 3. Tidy it up, so that's 12 over 8. And remember that that can be uh, simplified even more to be 3 over 2. So that is your gradient of the line that joins 3, 5 to 11, 17. Let's do another one. What is the gradient of the line that joins minus 2, 7 to 4, minus 9? So we quote our formula as always gradient equals back take back over front take front we stick in the numbers so it'll be minus 9 minus 7 just remember uh, that there's no double negative there but then you have 4 minus minus 2 so that is a double negative so we need to be careful of that tidy it up you've got minus 16 divided by 6 because 4 minus minus 2 is 6 uh, and the answer to that, if you simplify that down, is minus 8 over 3. So that is the gradient that joins the line, uh, of the line that joins those two coordinates. Example 3 then, the line that joins 4 minus 3 to A11 is a half. What is the value of A? So this time we've been given the gradient and we need to work backwards. Well, just put in what you know, quote the formula. Gradient equals back take back over front take front. Do not be spooked by the fact they've put a letter in there. The, the A here is simply just a number. That That's all it is. It can be any number, but we need to work out what that is. So put in the numbers this time. Gradient we know is a half. They have told us it is a half, so we sub that in for the gradient. And that equals back take back, so 11 minus minus 3 over front take front, so it's A minus 4. Then we might want to rearrange it a little bit, so I, I like to uh, times everything by 2 first, and then take that A minus 4 up uh, to the other side, so we've got A minus 4 equals 2 times 14. Uh, if you need to take a couple of minutes to do that, just pause the video uh, and, and get a scrap piece of paper out and, and work that out. And then we need to uh, simplify, so we've got a minus 4 equals 28, then take that minus 4 over the other side, so your a here is 32. And then if you want to show off to the examiner, you can put it in as uh, 32, um, 11 is, is what you want there. So that's example 3 then, and that is where we're going to leave it for today. So just as a recap, we talked about parallel and perpendicular gradients. You might get assessed on that, you know, just have a little look at it. Um, just know that uh, if two lines are parallel, they have the same gradient. If two lines are perpendicular, they have the negative reciprocal gradient. Um, also, the, the you can read off uh, the gradient from a line in the form y equals mx plus c, where m is the gradient and c is the intercept. And then remember this formula, gradient equals back take back over front take front, and you will know everything to do with gradient until we get on to calculus later in the course. But that is where we're going to leave it for today. If you found it helpful, then make sure you leave a like down below. If you didn't find it helpful, then let me know down in the comments what I can do to improve in the future. The, the PowerPoint will be uh, linked in the description as well, so if you want to have a look at, through it at your own pace, feel free. Uh, the, the, the download to that is in the description. So thank you very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you are doing uh, the new OCR 2018 uh, to onwards course um, on the new spec, uh, and, and there'll be videos out every few days. And uh, hopefully you guys will find them helpful. Thank you very much for watching and good luck with your FSMQ.